STEM fields in general are very hot. There is a shortage. In fact, the shortage is so great, it has been talked about at at least two State of the Union addresses by two presidents at least, if not more. There are more than a million jobs open today that cannot be filled um, in all sectors, private, government, institutions, because we don't have the necessary skills to fill them. The courses that you take while you're in school should influence where you're going, and you should always start relating those already in the industry. I think the opportunities in the STEM-related engineering technology fields are just unlimited. You just have to take five seconds to look around at everything that's scientific, technological, communication in your hands, in your car. The Internet of Things is a buzzword people hear about a lot. It means a lot of different things to a lot of people, but it's really, truly, we're on the, just the cusp of what that actually means for the future of this truly interconnected world. Engineering is very much a corporate-centric uh, corporate, uh, corporate -centric, um, field. Um, so, so the majority of job opportunities will be with well-established corporations. Whatever type of work uh, under the engineering umbrella that you enjoy most um, is, will be open to you once you uh, get the proper credentials and, and your degree. Enjoy your job because, I mean, let's be honest, you know, most of your life you spend at your job or a big portion of your life. If you're going to pursue a degree in IT or just in the STEM discipline at all, then you want to do your homework and you want to also be timely about your pursuit because in the IT industry it is changing so rapidly. As many years ago when you completed a certification it was for the most part uh, indefinite. You didn't have to go back and get recertified. Now that's not the case. There's always opportunities to broaden what you do just by interacting with your peers and observing around the company and continually learning and adding on to your skills. And over my 20 year career now, I've done multiple jobs. I never would have thought right at that time I graduated. So never think that your first job has to define what you do for your whole career.